Millie. Let's eat. Yeah, let's eat. Come on, I'm dying of hunger. You all have to eat now. Don't be fretting. Just give me time. Ah, uh, nobody can cook like Millie, huh? When are you gonna marry me, Millie? Oh, next week, Sam. <laughs> oh, she's gonna marry me, ain't you, Millie? What would your wife say, Tom? Oh, oh. Miss... anything you'd like? Could be. First, uh, I think I better sample that cooking. Oh, 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 I am sorry. Oh, that's all right, really. Awfully sorry. That smells good enough to eat. Tastes good, too, so they tell me. Got any ketchup, Patty? My stew can stand on its own feet. Good? Good. My name's Adam Potipi. It's an odd name, I must say. I live up the mountain. I got a farm up there. Have you? Good farm and a house on it. There's timberland, high grazing meadows, sheep, milk, cows, 50 acres of wheat. Only thing it ain't got, ain't got a woman. How about it? How about what? I just told you. How about marrying me? Oh, I know, it's kind of short notice. Back east, we would have met up a Sunday, even church. Six months later, I would have would have asked you, could I walk you home? Next two or three years, I would have sat in your front parlor every Wednesday night. And finally, I would ask your father, could I marry you? But here, there's not time. I gotta be home tonight to tend to my stock. It'll be another five months before I get down again with my grain. You gonna keep me waiting all that five months just for your pride? I'd have to finish my chores. I knew it the minute I set eyes on you. You were the gal for me. I'll go get cleaned up a bit and root out the preacher. Bless her beautiful fine forever. Where's the preacher's house? Down the street, next to the church. Thanks, Pop. She's the gal for me. Now, say it plain, Millie, into your face. I don't like this marriage. Oh, Reverend. Well, I don't know you or anything about you, and I feel responsible. Millie's like a daughter to us. We're her only family. But, Reverend, ever since I came here, you've been after me to marry. The girl had no right to stay single, you said. The country needed to be settled. We meant you to marry one of our young men, Millie. You had your pick with them. I tried. Again and again I tried. I'd say yes to one of them, and then an awful sinking feeling would strike me right here, and I couldn't do it. When I said yes to him, I waited for that feeling, but it didn't come. I feel just fine. I feel so good I could cry. Oh, I think it's wonderful love at first sight. Alice, what kind of talk is that? You're determined, Millie? Yes, Reverend. Then step forward. Take her hand in yours. Repeat after me, I, Adam Pontope. I, Adam Pontope. Take this woman to be my lawfully wedded wife. Take this woman to be my lawfully wedded wife. 